up, it's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're blasting Chicago's Cyanide, Hell's Rebirth, Head Split Records. Fuck yeah. I love when Cyanide speeds things up. And I can't wait for their mini LP to arrive, which it's in the mail today. So fuck yes. Thank you, John Randall. I fucking love Cyanide, and I'm so stoked that Mike is still making new material that pretty much still can annihilate most new death metal bands. Like, from what I heard from the new Cyanide mini LP, fucking A. Get stoked. If you haven't pre-ordered it, I highly recommend it. But Hell's Rebirth is just... Killer Cyanide. Cyanide's one of those bands that I really feel like they can do no wrong. From the Dying Truth to fucking Gods of Death or whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, Gods of Death. I always get it confused with the Temple of Void release, Lords of Death. So I keep confusing the two, I apologize. But... Hell's Rebirth is getting the vinyl treatment. I think Hell's Headbangers is doing it, or Dark Descent, I forget. But, speaking of Midwest death metal, in my hands right now is pretty much a bona fide Midwest death metal classic from 1993. There was two demos leading up to this, and their vocalist and bass player has moved on into one of my favorite current death metal bands, Absconder, and that's Brad. And I'm talking about Morg and their only full-length Eroded Thoughts reissued on Head Split Records. Fuck yes. Classic Illinois death metal. Morg are one of those Midwest death metal bands that like absolutely just nail that sound. I mean, putting out two killer demos followed by a full length and then calling it a day. I don't know why. I feel like that's a Midwest thing. Like bands like Time Ghoul had so much ahead of them but they put these two demos out and then just called it a day when it came to time goal and now I think they're looking back and seeing the popularity of time goal to where I wouldn't be surprised if a new time goal release comes out of nowhere but in the meantime we're talking about Illinois morgue eroded thoughts Holy shit, this is awesome. But calling it a day after a release like this, it takes some balls. And at the same time, I don't know what was going on behind the scenes and whatnot, but I do know Eroded Thoughts has everything you could possibly want out of a classic death metal album. Like, pretty much, imagine if Autopsy and Malevolent Creation got together and fucked. The outcome would probably sound a lot like Morgue, but throw in that kind of signature Midwest death mod, de de that Midwest death me metal twang, and yeah, that would be pretty much the outcome that Eroded Thoughts would be. This is fucking sick, sick shit. Riffs upon riffs, along with amazing vocals by Brad. This is classic death metals for fans of classic death metal. And all you gotta do is look at that promo photo and just say fuck yes. Awesome lyrical content as well as an awesome lyric and vocal delivery from Brad. And Brad, who does bass and vocals in Absconder, really shines here with his vocal work, as well as his bass playing. And you have 
Brad Boldak on vocals and bass, Ryan Jezerak on guitars, Daryl Moore on guitars, Nick Sabak on drums, and Ted Van Tilburg on drums. Forgot they had two drummers on this recording. But A Road of Thoughts is one of those albums, it just fucking slays in every single way possible. Like, seriously, I, I can't get over how sick this is. But little did Morg know, probably, during this time period, that all of these years later, people would still be talking about and begging for copies of this bad boy. And I think it's fucking sick that Headsplit Records heard the cry and answered it with a nice killer reissue of Eroded Thoughts by Morg. Like seriously, this is a really, really sick fucking cassette reissue, as you should come to expect from a label like Headsplit. They don't fuck around when it comes to reissuing classic stuff. For example, the Infestor Darkness Unveiled demo. Look at how fucking sick these tape cosmetics are. It's awesome. And even the J card. Like Infestor were a bunch of teenagers. Scum infested death metal, pus gargling desecration from Seattle's most brutal band. Like, stuff like this is why Headsplit is one of the best labels in the game. Like, some record labels will do reissues, and it's just a blatant money grab. Like, obviously, Dylan at Headsplit gives a fuck. Like, putting the Infestor skull on there and stuff. Fucking A. And same thing with Morg. Like, putting out a road of thoughts on cassette. Fucking A, man. Headsplit Records is awesome. And you can't go wrong with Morg Eroded Thoughts. If you can get your hands on this. I think it sold out very, very quickly when they did the reissue. So, maybe Dylan will be doing another reissue in the near future, but keep your eyes and ears peeled for this because Headsplit Records number 172, Morg Eroded Thoughts, is just one of the best reissues Headsplit has ever put out. And it's one of those Midwest death metal classics that, if you're a fan of old school death metal, then chances are 97% that you are going to devour Eroded Thoughts by Morg. What a killer fucking slab of death metal right here. And if you don't believe me, give it a chance yourself. Morg Eroded Thoughts reissued on Headsplit Records, originally released in 1993 classic Illinois death fucking metal. I would kill to see this band with Macabre and Cyanide. That would be a great fucking show back in the day. But in the meantime, I'll enjoy this cassette. Maybe one day we'll get a vinyl reissue, but this sounds great on tape and I'm grateful for Brad for sending this my way as I honestly didn't know that Brad was actually in Morg until I did a little bit of research on Eroded Thoughts. And I was like, holy shit, that's the same Brad I talked to online. And fucking A. Like, if you're a fan of Absconder, you should probably check out Morg and just see Brad's past and whatnot. Because... I love his vocals now, but his vocals on here are fucking sick as well. And so is his bass playing. He's just one of those dudes that I really like his musical talents and whatnot. And his contributions to death metal are amazing. And Eroded Thoughts just proves that back in 1993. Fuck yeah.
This is some grade A classic death metal for all you old school death metal maniacs out there. Get into it. And the lyrical content's just fucking not your typical, you know, gore riddled lyrics. It's fucking very kind of, you know, intellectual and it's just sick. But we were blasting Cyanide, Hell's Rebirth, on Head Split Records, killer reissue of Cyanide, playing a less doomy style that than, you know, their usual, but still kicking fucking ass. Hell's Rebirth by Cyanide. And yeah, more eroded thoughts. Seriously, if you can get your hands on this, do it. But as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hoops.